This is the story of Jada Simmons. 20-year-old Jada Simmons was born on August 20, 2000, and was a resident of Milledgeville, Georgia. Jada was the type of person that always made friends, family, and even strangers feel welcomed. She was also a young mother of a beautiful one-year-old daughter. On the evening of May 16th, Jada decided to attend a house party in Jones County, Georgia, along with a friend. The house party, which had brought out as many as 250 people, was for members of the Pyro Street Gang, based out of Milledgeville and Baldwin County. Tragically, Around 3 a.m., Jada was shot in the head and pronounced dead at the scene of the party. Middle Georgia families are mourning the loss of a loved one this morning after two women are killed over the weekend. According to the Jones County Sheriff's Office, Jada Simmons of Milledgeville was killed during a large party early Sunday morning on Nitrogen Road. Sheriff Butch Reese says many of the people at the party are from the Milledgeville area. Deputies are trying to find who's responsible for her death. Anyone with information is asked to call the Jones County Sheriff's Office. Initially, information concerning the shooting was not forthcoming. However, after a positive and productive social media plea from Jada's family and close friends, urging those with information to come forward, police had a clear understanding of the events that took place that night. Last weekend, we rode together to a lake house party. Ashley Smith says she went out with Jada Simmons and three other friends just over a week ago. She had no clue it would be the last time she would see the 20-year-old alive. Devastated. Couldn't believe it. Not that person that we all knew. So it's like, I'm sorry for everybody lost. Smith says she and Simmons used to be on a dance team together when they were 16. She says ever since then, the two kept in touch, especially since they were both the same age with one-year-old daughters. Everybody had their own personal relationship with Jada. And honestly, Jada was the type of person you walk in the room, she would make you feel welcome. The Jones County Sheriff's Office says they're still looking to speak with anyone who was at the party where Simmons was shot. But almost 48 hours into the investigation, there's no new evidence and no suspects. She was a mother. She was a young mother. She had a whole life ahead of her, her baby life ahead of her. Smith says she knows more than anyone how much the family is hurting as she lost someone close to her due to gun violence just last year. She asked anyone with information to step up and say something. Be truthful. You know, this is what she would have wanted. She wanted, she would have wanted just. According to Chief Deputy Earl Humphreys of the Jones County Sheriff's Office, deputies were actually called to the party location twice that night before the shooting was reported. He said the first call was a complaint about a fight which was checked out. He said nothing was found out of order during that first visit, and they received a second call about an hour later reporting a lady had passed out. Once again, officers walked to the property and found no reason to shut the party down. The 3 a.m. reports of the shooting was the third and final call. The chief said officers saw a good-sized crowd when they went earlier, but at the last visit, only about 15 people remained. When EMTs arrived, they could find no vital signs from the victim. The weapon used in the shooting had not been recovered, but deputies had located a lot of projectiles. They knew multiple shots were fired and were trying to get more bystanders to come forward with additional information. It is well known that Jones County prosecutes gang members, and the Sheriff's Department works hard to keep gangs out of Jones County. Humphrey stated, 
It's out of intention to keep doing it. We try to make examples of gang members, and we will make an example here if we can. The alleged shooter is 26-year-old Jeremy Butts from Milledgeville, but their hunt for him brought them thousands of miles away to a city Butts once called home. Just going back and forth with people talking about that they had heard he had left town, doing some research on him and hearing that he had once served in El Paso, Texas. Just two days after the murder, Jeremy Xavier Butts, 26, who reportedly was recently discharged from the Army, was arrested by members of the U.S. Marshals Service in El Paso, Texas, while walking toward his vehicle. Jones County Sheriff Butch Reese says a fight broke out early Sunday, then Butts began shooting. He says Simmons, the mom of a one-year-old, was an innocent bystander. Sheriff Reese says a Milledgeville street gang organized that party and that Butts flew out of state almost immediately after the shooting. One of the latest developments in the case led to the arrest of Sierra Simone Butts, the shooting suspect's sister, who surrendered to authorities at the Jones County Sheriff's Office after deputies and agents went to her residence looking for her on an outstanding warrant. Sierra Butts is charged with one count of hindering the apprehension of a criminal and was released on a $5,000 bail. She was charged with hindering the apprehension of a criminal and Sheriff Butch Reese says she was named as the person who took Jeremy to the airport shortly after the shooting. Jeremy Butts remains behind bars in an El Paso, Texas jail. Butts will face an extradition hearing or waive extradition from Texas to Georgia to face the criminal charge against him. Authorities later learned that Jeremy Butts left Georgia shortly after the fatal shooting and was flown out of Georgia to Texas. Just going back and forth with people talking about that they had heard he had left town, doing some research on him and hearing that he had once served in El Paso, Texas, in the military. Authorities could not say whether or not Jada was a bystander or if she was the intended target of the shooting. However, it was later confirmed that she in fact knew her killer. This was the story of Jada Simmons.